Good morning, YouTube. Trying out a new camera angle here a little bit. We got a, a J hook all the way from China. Only place I could find it. Took me a while to get it. The first one didn't get here safely. I had to request another one. That allows me to get the GoPro down on my chin and out of my faceplate a little bit more. Just don't know how the angle's going to be. We'll see. Monday morning. I'm just out running an errand here. Don't have any major rides planned, although I'd like to. The weather's going to start to cool down pretty soon here, although it was 97 yesterday, so it's not exactly cool. I had some issues with my NC700 here recently, had a, just a, almost before the 8,000 mile mark. My check engine light started coming on, and it'd come on for 10, 20 miles, and it'd go off for 10, 20 miles. Couldn't figure out what it was, so I went ahead and scheduled my 8,000 service with the dealer and told him about it. They looked, couldn't find it. Well, they first said they couldn't get it to come on, so they couldn't do anything about it. Well, sure enough, as soon as I pulled away from the dealer, it came on. So I headed back, left the bike on and showed it to them and they agreed to take a look at it. Went through their service manual procedures to a certain point and until it got to be, you know, I'd already been there for quite a few hours and I said, well, we can't, have not don't sure if we found anything or not. We reset the code and see if it comes back. Well, left the dealer and on it came again. So, called them back and said, well, we'll have to talk to Honda. See what they recommend. And I haven't heard from them since. But I think I found the problem mentioned the problem on a NC700 forum that I'm a part of. Somebody suggested a loose battery terminal might be causing it. Because the, the code that was put out was display related. Somebody else had had the same thing and they found out their terminal was loose. And it went away as soon as they tightened it. So sure enough, I got in there and Positive battery terminal was quite loose. I tightened it up and now I've gone several hundred miles without it coming back. So I think I found it. I just have to remember to go in there every once in a while and check that. Well, I sure did enjoy going to the Ohio meetup. That was my longest trip on any motorcycle to date. So I learned a few things. Learned I, I pack way more than I need. And, uh, I learned that it does help a little bit to stop every hundred miles or so and take a break. I uh, do it again and I'm camping, I'll uh, put up a tent a little further away from the party area. <laughs> Didn't get much sleep that first night. And I'm just not a one to stay up all night and party. Don't judge anybody that 
finds enjoyment doing that. They're all different. That's what makes it interesting. And it was good meeting all the folks that I hadn't met except online so far. And getting to see those that I had met before again. anyway so this is a stretch for me videos before you probably recognize this route. It's not too bad although this time of day traffic is pretty constant. upgrade this helmet to a little nicer one. Maybe I can find a quieter one. Field. It's been so cool in the morning sometimes for a while there. I was afraid to fog up. We got the dual, dual pane on this one. In mornings like this against the end of the sun, I missed the tinted wind tin shield that I've got. There. sunglasses, clip ones because I've got prescription glasses. Found out the cheap clip ones give me kind of a rainbow effect inside this field. 